Millions of people around the world enjoy shooting rifles. I'm really excited that you're joining me here to learn all about rifles for beginners. I'm Chris Chang, History Channel's Top Shot Season 4 Champion and Professional Marksman for Bass Pro Shops. In this video, we're going to talk about actions, and there are many different types of actions. Today, we're going to focus on the most common three actions that you'll probably see out on the range. Here on the table, I have four rifles representing three of the major actions. The first one is lever action, second one is bolt action, and the third is semi-automatic action. Let me explain how each of these works. The first one with the lever action rifle, we have an 1860 Henry rifle. The barrel is on top and underneath is a magazine tube. When you chamber around and you squeeze the trigger, one shot will come out per trigger squeeze. But in order to fire the next shot, you have to cycle the lever, which will eject one round, and then when you pull the lever back in, it will chamber the next round. On a bolt action rifle, it also shoots one round at a time. When you fired your shot, you have to pull the bolt back, which will eject your spent cartridge, and then you have to put in your next round. Both lever action and bolt action are manual actions, which means it's going to require you to take a manual action of cycling either the lever or the bolt in order to take your next shot. Here, finally, the third action we're going to be talking about is semi-automatic action. Now here we have a Ruger 1022 takedown and an AR-15. With semi-automatic actions, we have a magazine that holds all of our rounds. Each time you squeeze the trigger, it will fire one shot, but the action is automatically going to cycle. When you fire, the bolt will go back and it will come forward and automatically chamber that round. Semi-automatic means one shot fired per trigger squeeze. So now that you understand the differences between lever action, bolt action, and semi-automatic action, head out to the range and practice. If you're looking for a place to shoot, check out wheretoshoot.org to find a range near you. And finally, remember that firearm safety depends on you.